So in this video, we're still talking about bristles, and this time we're going to talk about the number of bristles in a brush, because it's the tip of the bristle that gives you scrub power or agitation power. So if we go back and we think about how is a brush made, every brush starts as a block, it goes into the machine and the machine drills a hole, and it puts in to the pod a number of bristles and staples or resins them into location. So the question is, how many bristle tips are in each pod, and how many pods have we drilled into the brush? And then how does that affect the behavior of the brush as a water-fed pole brush? So we're going to cover that. Now, for the Reacher Beta Brush Pack brushes, we have this block, and we have 177 pod holes drilled into them. And the number of bristles that are in each pod hole is usually determined by the actual thickness of the bristle. So you'll see that these bristles are quite fine. Uh, we've got bristles that are more fine and we've got bristles that are more firm. And that's going to change the actual bristle count. And what we're interested in is if you've got, um, for example, let me look it up. For our Generation 6 soft brush, we have 178 bristles per pod. So let me look for that one. That's this one here. And this has got 178 bristles times 177 pods is around 31,000 bristles, bristle tips in this brush. So you can imagine some people don't like soft brushes, but when you realize there's 31,000 bristle tips able to do the agitation, the upside of that is you're going to really quickly disturb the dirt into solution. The downside is that the dirt may stay in the, br in the brush because there's so much density of bristle tips. So this brush won't self-clean as well as a brush that might have less. So let's take another example, and this is our Generation 6 Firm Bristle Brush. Now if I look that up, Generation 6 Firm Bristle, this has 76 bristles per pod, 177 pods, so it's got around 13,500 less than half the number of bristle tips as this brush. So the beauty of that is that if you're wanting to clean at five or six stories and you want to leave this brush on the glass, you can see quite, when you look at a close up, you can see that the density of the bristles is much less. So that means that this brush here, the, the, the firmer bristle brush, is going to have much more capability of self-cleansing, allowing the water to wash the dirt out through the brush. And so you won't have to take the brush off the glass to do the rinse that we recommend when you're working at lower heights. So when we want to get real agitation power, I want to introduce you to, some of you would have got this brush, you'll see it's got a shortcut. It's a super soft, super fine. Now these, these brushes had 300 bristles in each pod, making it that we have a total of 53,000 bristles in one brush. And again, we had lots of people saying, I don't like this opera, I don't like this opera. And I just write to them and say, hey, give it a go. Try it, especially on regular clean or cleans that are not so dirty. And they all wrote back and said, wow, amazing. You know, because you can really, just two agitations, you've got 50,000 50, bristles every time you move them scrubbing across the glass. But if you think that's good, think again when you have a look at the flag bristle brush, which is um, the same Technology is what you'd call a truck brush, the VCAN truck, br truck brush, or whatever. And the reason these brushes have become amazingly popular in water fed window cleaning is this. If you look at each bristle, these are made from PET, they're not nylon, and each bristle has been broken down. It's been what they call flagged or flocked. And on average, you could say that there's 10 micro bristles per bristle in the pod. So you can look at a flagged bristle and say that there's 76 bristles per pod giving you 13,500, but if, there were, if each one was shattered into 10, then there's over 100,000 fiber bristle tips in a flagged bristle brush. So twice as many as this one. And you can imagine if you're wanting to get dirt into solution, you just want to disturb it off the glass and it's not caked on and it's not hard, it's just dirt, and you just want to disturb it, get it into solution and get a rinse going, then you cannot go past 100,000 fiber tips 
scrubbing their way across the glass and just disturbing the dirt quickly into solution. This is a very, very efficient brush. So, what does this mean? The number of bristle tips in your brush in relation to water fed pole brush design? Well, it's about agitation efficiency and it's about the rinse process. So you could take a firm bristle and it's got less bristles, so less agitation as far as the number of bristle tips. Each bristle tip is actually bigger, so it's stronger, so it's got more dig. So you could say, okay, I could use that in uh, working at heights because it's going to be self-cleansing for the rinse. Yeah. So for rinse efficiency, this is a great brush if you're going to have to leave the brush on the glass. But for agitation efficiency, you can go to the flag bristle. The downside of the flag bristle is that it's so dense, you look at it, it's so dense with fibre ends that you know that the dirt is going to stay in there. These brushes hold dirt, so you've got to take them off the glass to rinse. That's all it is. So you use the bristle to agitate and you use the jets to rinse. If you believe in that philosophy and you're working below four storeys, then this is the most efficient brush in the marketplace. High amount of fibres to do the agitation take it off the glass, no different than you would with your T-bar, you always take your T-bar off the glass and then you use your squeegee, so take it off the glass and use the jets to rinse. Again, if you're in a situation where you need a self-cleansing brush, then you might use a firmer bristle brush with less bristles, or if you're in a situation where you've got really rugged cleaning job, then you're obviously going to go to a firm bristle brush, and the beauty of this is the water from your jets, remember you've got four jets and a reach it beta brush, um, the water from the jets is just going to wash out and wash between the bristles and allow you to rinse more efficiently and more effectively. So, send us your feedback. Tell us the information about where you are in the world, what you're doing, what job you're working on, and what your impression is of the beta brushes and what you think that we could do to alter or improve them. In particular, this relationship between the number of bristles um, and the agitation power and the influence of that on the rinse process.